Uh, well, I think um, it's a great question, and I think to a great extent. I mean, I think the internet, in effect, everybody has their own printing press. Um, and the ability to communicate with large numbers of people at a relatively uh, insignificant cost is one of the boons of the internet. Uh, and so I think it's, it's one way to kind of break down some of these concerns of some people having more wealth and more ability to speak because of it, and, and, and most people not, uh, by, uh, by their, uh, their, their internet um, uh, uh, capacity. I think that's a, that's a wonderful um, technological boost to the kinds of arguments I'm making that uh, we should let uh, people decide how much they want to speak and not the government. Could I dissent? <laughs> I, of course, I agree that we should uh, let people decide how much to speak as long as they have enough money to do so. Um, but I think that the, the internet um, is, is a marvelous medium for reaching people who already agree with you. And I don't think it is as quite as effective as people are hoping that it might be, at least not yet, in reaching beyond your own circles of comfort and, and personal interest. But it does have a huge po uh, potential for uh, small donor contributions. I mean, this is a relatively inexpensive way to raise very significant amount of money in small amounts. I mean, that's what the Obama campaign was brilliant about the last time around. Uh, they tapped uh, a very large pool of people who didn't have a lot of money but who wanted to contribute, and the Internet was the matrix that, that allowed them to organize it. it, it and, and this is a central problem, though, in the country. Got to make sure that if we're going to do, go down that road, everybody is equally wired, because this could also be a way to segment out people that don't have access to the Internet, and then all of a sudden, um, they're even worse than they were before all of this started. Mike, I'm, I'm curious, uh, internet good or bad for democracy? Well, I think it does two things. I think, uh, I think to echo the point that was already made is it makes even sillier the argument that the Koch brothers can drown out these voices. We now have so many different means of communicating with the electorate. The notion that buying some ads is somehow going to drown out all, all other voices becomes even more empirically unsound. And I also think the notion that Bert started with, that the, somehow there's a difference. Uh, people who are designated press get these special enhanced First Amendment rights that people like Citizens United don't, becomes ever blurrier when, as Joel just said a moment ago, really the internet is everybody's printing press and trying to distinguish a blogger from somebody commenting on a blog from the New Republic becomes almost a fool's errand and trying to say your First Amendment rights rise or fall if you fall into the favored category, it becomes even more difficult. Uh -huh.